Hey, what's up guys? Today I have two Feotech gimbals. This is the AK2000S and this is the AK2000C. For reference in this video, I'll be referring to this as the S and this one as the C. Now, I'm going to give you a comparison of all of the differences and the similarities of both of these gimbals. Just starting off, in terms of the pricing, by default at the time of this video, the AK2000S is $349 for the standard edition and the AK2000C is $229. So I'm gonna go ahead, unpack this, give you guys a whole showcase of side-by-side -side comparisons. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you'll notice when you unpack the boxes, the S version comes with this nice heavy duty carry case. It's got a handle with some clips at the front. So you can take your gimbal with you wherever you like in a very convenient manner. With the C, it doesn't have any carry case. You, when you open the box, you'll have all of the equipment just inside and you'll have to take it out manually and take it anywhere with you manually as well in your backpack or a bag like that. So that's the biggest difference in the boxes. If you're a filmmaker that goes on location in different areas and you want the flexibility to be portable with your gimbal, then the S1 is the one to get. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into what's inside each of these boxes. Inside the carry case for the S version, you'll see that there's a lot of accessories, including this pouch here that you can use to carry all of your cables. And these are all the connecting cables for your camera and the USB-C charging cable for the gimbal as well. All the standard accessories in there. This is the kit that connects the brushless motor. You can see there's a cable to connect it to one of the USB ports on the plate. And this is the brushless motor kit itself for the follow focus. So you get this follow focus kit as standard in the S version, which you don't get on the C version. This is where the versatile arm is displayed, but I'm going to showcase to you guys as I've set this up on my gimbal and I'll showcase that next. In the box for the C version, you can see it's pretty standard. You get all of the same cables to connect to your camera. You also get the USB-C charging cable, pretty much exactly the same cables in the S version as standard, but you also have just the gimbal and a tripod. So very limited accessory list in the C box. Right, so I've connected the tripod to both of the gimbals. This one is the S, which has the versatile arm on there. In terms of the dimensions, they're very similar in size. And also in terms of the net weight, minus the arm on the S version, they're almost the same as well, roughly around 1100 grams. So let's go ahead and look a little bit more closer about the functionality on each of these gimbals. Now for the roll axis, the one on the S version can rotate up to 360 degrees unlimited rotation. This is great for inception modes that you want to shoot consistently in a rotational format. Whereas the one on the C version is limited to only 306 degrees. As you can see, it stops at a certain point and you can only go backwards another 306 degrees. On the S version, you get two camera control ports. One is a USB 2.0 port and one is a USB type C port. However, on the C version, you only have one type, which is the type C port, and that's available to control your camera using that port only. On the S version, you can see that it has a magic ring wheel. This allows you to control the focus if you connect up the brushless motor kit for the follow focus. You can see on the C version, it doesn't have that control wheel and that can be quite limiting to some users. So when it comes to folding away the gimbal, you notice on the S version that it doesn't have something called magic folding. As you can see from the C version, the release plate can be folded inwards to be directly on top of the plate underneath, making it very compact. This is not possible on the S version. And speaking of the release plates, both gimbals share the same max payload of 2.2 kilograms for a camera. In terms of the battery life, both gimbals have 18 watt charging and they're charged by USB-C and you can get a full charge in 1.5 hours and you'll get roughly around seven hours of shooting time or up to 12 to 14 hours on standby mode. Now, just to talk a little bit about the similarities, apart from the focus wheel on this, all of the buttons on both of these gimbals are exactly the same. You also have the same LCD screen with the same settings, options, and shooting modes. Both of them have one click for inception mode operation, except the one with the S version is slightly different because the pivotal point on here allows you to rotate 360 degrees in an unlimited fashion. Now the last comparison I wanted to show is some sample footage shot with both of these gimbals using my Sony a7 III. With the S version, I'm going to use the versatile arm to take some shots. And with the C version, I'm just going to have it handheld like this. So let's go ahead, head outside and see how they look.
Right, so just to recap and summarize everything for you guys, the S version is $120 more expensive than the C version, but for that additional cost, you get this versatile arm as an attachment as part of a standard accessory. You have an additional USB port on the plate to control the camera with the cables that come in the box. You also have yourself the focus wheel. You get that large carry case to take the gimbal anywhere you like. You also have a carry pouch for all of your cables. And finally, you have the option for the 360 degree unlimited inception mode. If none of those things matter for you, then going for the C would be absolutely fine and you'll still get the best footage for your videos. So it all depends on what type of footage you want to film. If there's anything else you wanna know in terms of comparing both of these two gimbals, make sure you go ahead and give a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. I review things, all things tech, and I know you're gonna like some really cool gadgets I've got coming out very soon. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.